Welcome to My Favorite Drum Gear. I'm Brady. Today we're taking a look at a bit of a new offering from the folks at Lemon. Now we've all taken a look at some of their cymbals, some of their hi-hats, and I've even reviewed one of their drums, but Lemon is now offering a bundle with their 15-inch cymbal that comes with a clamp, a cable, and a cymbal stand. I'm going to take a look at each component individually and see if this is something that needs to be added to your e-kit. Stick around. many of my other videos, you know that I'm a fan of Lemon symbols and that we've taken a look at a good number of them. If you're not familiar with my channel, please like and subscribe. You have no idea how much that helps. And remember, if I get to a thousand subscribers on this page, I'm going to get a hold of Lemon's top tier full drum set and give the entire thing, the module, the symbols, the drums, everything, a full look to see if these are really quality products that we'd all like to own. So Lemon has just started a new offering with many of their symbols. These are the expansion packs. Now what makes the expansion pack different from their normal symbol is that when you buy one of their symbols, you quite simply get a symbol and oftentimes a rotation stopper and they call it a day. Now we all know that these symbols come at a hugely discounted price over what you would pay for a very similar Roland symbol. Keeping in mind that shipping can often double the price of the symbol, still keeps them incredibly affordable. Again, if you've watched other videos, you know that these symbols are quality and they do check out. Now, what makes the expansion packs different is that they come with a clamp to clamp onto your E-drum or V-drum rack. They come with a cymbal stand and they come with a quarter inch stereo cable to plug into your module. Now, once again, Lemon is offering value because if you look online and just want to get the same stand, clamp, and cable from Roland, you're looking at about 80 bucks. When you factor in shipping to the cost of these Lemon expansion bundles, you're looking at about 10 additional dollars. So that's the clamp, the cable, and the stand for about $10 more than you'd pay for just the symbol. The question is, is any of this stuff actually worth it? So we're gonna take a look at each item individually. Now what I got was the 15 inch dual zone ride symbol. I'm planning on using it as a crash symbol, but I'm gonna compare it a little bit to a comparable crash as well as to Lemon's 18 inch ride, which I've already reviewed to a comparable Roland model. I wanna take a look at the stereo cable, make sure it's built well and it's going to stand up. I wanna take a look at the clamp and make sure that it's not gonna fall apart on you. And I wanna take a look at the cymbal stand, make sure that it's long enough, that it's robust enough, that it's actually gonna be worthwhile. So let's get started with an unboxing. Then I'll look at each item individually. We'll do a play test on the cymbal and I'll have my overall reviews. So the packaging is once again what we've come to expect from Lemon. Uh, this time around, they did put some staples in the cardboard. It's still pretty thin, but the cardboard feels a little bit thicker than it has in the past, and it looks like they got some kind of branding on their tape, um, which hopefully just means that the company's doing a little bit better. So once we get inside, we see all of the components. We've got our stereo cable. Uh, we'll talk about that a little more in a second, but it seems pretty basic, hard to mess up. Next, we move on to the clamp. Now, this is one of those clamps that opens all the way up. I happen to like those, even though, as you can see, there's a little bit of extra work that comes with it. Moving on, we've got a rotation stopper in here. Uh, they tend to throw this bag in just about everything that they send. Uh, I've got now a, a growing handful of those. But then we move on to the cymbal stand, or really it's just a boom arm that comes with the package. Getting in there we find that it's metal tubing, but the actual uh, boom arm, or I guess boom mechanism, is mostly plastic. Now, it does have a rotation stopper on the top as well. Finally, we get into the symbol itself, piece of foam to keep it a little bit safe, and this is what we'd expect. Now, let's look at these things a little bit more in detail. So looking at their stereo cable, it's a pretty basic stereo cable. It comes in at 79 inches, which I'm going to go ahead and call a six-foot cable for your purposes. The cable itself is a little bit more flexible and feels just a tiny bit thinner. 
uh, maybe than, than a classic Roland cable or a, a thicker instrument cable. It's got your 90 degree angle on one end, straight on the other. It's a normal ring tip stereo cable. Comparing it directly to a Roland cable, it is just a little bit longer on the jack there for the 90 degree side. And you'll see that the lemon jack here is just a tiny bit longer than the Roland, really comparable. So I've plugged this in, I've moved it around, I've twisted it, uh, I've used both you know, head and rim, the, the ring and tip sides. It's a stereo cable. It's a six foot long stereo cable. It does just fine. I have no complaints about it whatsoever. These online you're gonna find for about 10 to $12 a piece. Keeping in mind that this expansion pack from Lemon is about $10 more than you would pay for the symbol alone. I'm gonna say that the symbol plus the cable puts the value there right off the bat. Moving on to the differences in the clamps. Now there is a difference between Lemon and Roland's clamps where they actually attach to your rack. And the biggest difference is that these Lemon clamps actually hinge. This means that you can take these on and off of your rack without having to completely disassemble things and slide the tubes off the ends. I think this is a big plus. Now the one thing that comes with that is that you have to kind of assemble this a little bit as you put it on. So once you clamp it around your tube, you've got to drop the bolt in. On the other side, you've got a washer to put on, and then you've got a big old knob to put on. Now what this does by opening like that is actually move where you're tightening down from on a Roland model, it's either on the top or the bottom, and on the lemon model, it actually goes to being away from you um, pretty much no matter what, or toward you, I guess, if you've got your, your stand on the opposite side. As far as what kind of symbol stand it takes, these sizes are identical. So if you've got a Roland stand, um, you can most certainly put your lemon clamp on the stand. When we're talking about the robustness, you can clamp this guy down just as tight as you want. Um, it feels solid. It doesn't feel like it's gonna go anywhere. Uh, the, the build quality is such that I don't think that these are any more fragile or robust for that matter than the ones from Roland. I do know if you over tighten any of them, you can have problems. And as the plastic gets old on the Roland models, it can get brittle and you can lead to, to some snapping. I would imagine it's the same on Lemon, but for this product right out of the box, it seems just fine and, and plenty robust. Moving on now to the symbol stand, um, this, this is where I think we've got an issue. Um, starting with, if you'll just look at the lengths, this one here is from Roland, this one here is from Lemon, you do get a little bit more length, and you do have a boom arm here that you can actually adjust back and forth. It gives you a little bit more versatility on where exactly you wanna mount things if you're trying to squeeze them in, and um, I, I do like that about it. Now, let's look at the overall length here of the two stands. And this is the big problem. I've got the, the rack that comes with pretty much all of the Roland V-drums. This doesn't work as a crash cymbal. You just can't get the cymbal high enough above the drums for it to really serve any purpose. Now that said, I did get the ride bundle as opposed to a crash bundle. I'm not sure if the stand is any longer. I will reach out to Lemon and see if I can get an answer on that uh, as far as the crashes versus the rides. But this works as a ride cymbal stand. It's just too short to work as a crash cymbal stand. The next thing we go to is kind of build quality. Um, so looking, you know, going, going soup to nuts on this. And when we look at the, the plastic wing nut that is going to attach the cymbal, it's pretty simple in that it's a plastic, uh, you know, thumb screw type with a small nut that seats inside of it. The problem is that it's free floating. And so when you go to tighten it down, it just pops right up. And so you've got to do this kind of dance of keeping your finger on it, trying to pull up and, and screw down. Now, once you get it started, it's okay. And it does stay once it's tightened down, but it's just kind of a hassle. And with one drop of super glue, they could have solved that problem. So that said, with one drop of super glue, you can solve that problem as well. Moving on to the next piece, you've just got a, a felt washer. It's a little bit more uh, sturdy, I think, a little bit more dense than most of the ones that you'd find on a, on a normal acoustic cymbal stand. But again, these are e-cymbals. It's, it's not that big of a deal, so that's fine. The next item you have is the rotation stopper. It's plastic. It uses the 
what Lemon loves, that five millimeter hex key or, or Allen wrench. You can adjust it up and down a little bit to put it exactly where you want it, which is, is I suppose, a, a nicer feature. Getting all the way down to the bottom of it, it is hollow uh, at the bottom, whereas Roland does just put a nice little um, end cap in there. Then we get to the actual boom arm itself. Now again, this thumb screw is just like the other one where it's a metal nut inside a plastic housing. And then we have the actual rotation for the boom arm itself. Guys, this is cheap. This is um, cheap enough that at first it really made me nervous. So this, this is basically a tried and true uh, boom arm setup. It's just that the two, in my opinion, most important pieces that need to hold on the tightest are just made of plastic. You've got these plastic indentations um, right here where it's supposed to seat into. It's sturdy, it's solid, but at the same time, it's just those little plastic teeth uh, that are that are keeping this thing where it where it belongs, and so I'm not sure that that this is something that that I would trust again being played out, being uh, torn down, thrown in a hardware bag, and and set back up. But again, here's your boom boom arm with an eye hook, and then your piece of plastic goes on a very simple spring, which puts the other half of the arm on, and we tighten the whole thing down. So you can adjust the length of the boom arm. And then once you get it where you want, you just crank down on it. And I just feel like I'm gonna, gonna crank too hard and just shatter this whole plastic housing. Hasn't happened yet. Uh, it is pretty sturdy once it's put together, but we will see. So. I was nervous. I was really nervous about using this. So quite frankly, I decided I'm just gonna abuse it and I'm gonna break it. So I put this as a ride cymbal stand. I put my 18 inch lemon ride on it and I played hard and I played loud and um, it's what, three weeks ago. It doesn't move. Uh, so I would, I would not gig this. If you are taking your E-drums, your V-drums out, you're setting up, you're tearing down, you're adjusting the boom arm as needed for each setup, I, I don't trust it. That said, having it set up with my house kit on a kit that I'm not tearing down, that I'm not resetting up, it's worked for me. It also might be um, just a nice little accessory to keep around. You never know what you might need it for. I could see mounting like a BT-1 soundbar onto it because it's so small and, and can fit kind of kind of anywhere, and especially with the boom. I think there is some value to it. That said, this is, this is the lowest quality piece within that expansion bundle. So finally, moving on to the symbol itself, uh, 15 inches is what it's listed as. It measures just over. Now keep in mind that Lemon sells a two zone and a three zone 15 inch. Uh, this is the three zone. The cost difference, the price difference is not that significant. So I thought, why not get the three zone? And then if I ever have need uh, for the bell, I can use that. Just like their other symbols, you've got your ride one and ride two. So that's the uh, bow and the edge and the bell. This is just the smaller version of the 18 inch. So I encourage you to go back and watch my 18 inch ride symbol video if you've got any questions about it. The playability I'm gonna show you in a second here is identical. This thing is responsive. It feels nice, it rocks nice, it, it feels like a symbol.
let me talk real quickly about the 15 inch cymbal as a piece of your drum kit. The first expansion that I would make on any new e-drum kit is to get Lemon's 18 inch ride cymbal. That upgrade alone is just so worth it to have the playability of a nice big ride cymbal. If the 18 inches is too big for your practice space, then I would absolutely consider moving down to that 15 inch that I've reviewed here. That said, as a crash cymbal, this thing is like butter. There is a school of thought when you play the drums to not play onto the surface you're playing, but to play into or play through the drum or into and through the cymbal that you're hitting. That to me is the hardest thing to transfer from playing an acoustic kit to an electronic kit. And especially with those old rubber pads, it's impossible to play through the drum or through the cymbal. And while Roland's CY8, CY5s and the like have come a long way, you still can't really play through those cymbals and it makes playing just a little bit more awkward than it should be when you're talking about electronic drums. These big rubber cymbals with a looser wing nut on the top really let you lay into them and let you play through them. And the 15 inch cymbal I think is even better than some of the smaller cymbals from Roland, the smaller cymbals from Lemon that I have tried. They really have that ability, this 15 inch really has that ability to play through the cymbal and it just feels good. So overall thoughts, let's look at each component of this expansion kit. First, there's the quarter inch stereo cable. There's nothing wrong with this. It's a four out of five. I think it's great to have a backup if you don't actually need it to uh, you know, plug in an additional pad or something to your kit. You're gonna need it at some point, so it's a great thing to have. Next up is the clamp. While the clamp is just a little bit bulkier and maybe harder to squeeze in somewhere on your rack if you've only got a tiny bit of space, the fact that the clamp opens and closes and can fit on your rack without any disassembly I think is a huge plus and it's plenty sturdy that you're not going to have any problems with it. Personally, I use the clamps that open the whole way when I'm testing new configurations out so that I can throw a new cymbal up and decide two days later that I really don't like it there and then I don't have to disassemble the entire rack to get that clamp off and out of the way. I give their clamps a five out of five. I think they perform well and again, I love the fact that they open up. Looking at that 15 inch three zone symbol itself. It's a five out of five from Lemon, once again. It's just as responsive as any Roland symbol that I've tried, and you absolutely cannot beat the cost. Moving now to the symbol stand, that boom arm, that shortened arm with the shortened boom on it, where the crux of the whole thing is made of plastic. I'm gonna have to go with maybe a two out of five. Um, the fact that I've had it set up for a couple weeks with my ride symbol and it has performed just fine, I think means that I've got to give it some numbers as opposed to giving it a zero out of five based on what I think it can do because it's shown me that it can do more than what I thought. That said, there's just too much plastic where it counts and I don't trust it to give it any higher than a two out of five, which is in my opinion, a below average and a failing score. So do I recommend this 15 inch three zone ride symbol that I'm using as a crash? Absolutely. Do I recommend upgrading for the additional, what, 10-ish dollars? to go from the symbol by itself to this expansion kit that Lemon is now offering? Yes. The fact remains that if you want to buy a comparable clamp from Roland, they're going to charge you 50 bucks. If you want to buy the entire package, albeit a larger and higher quality physical symbol stand, but you're still getting a quarter inch cable and a clamp just like you do with the Lemon kit, and they want to charge you $70 versus the 10, I'll tell you this. Every time I buy another lemon symbol, I'm going to get the expansion kit every single time. The extra 10 bucks to have an extra clamp laying around, to have an extra cable laying around is worth it on its own. I have a hope that lemon upgrades these stands because they do on their website offer an all metal symbol stand. If they'll upgrade from that, even for another couple bucks on top of it, that would be well worth it. But if you consider you're getting the symbol at a great cost and then getting just either the clamp or the cable for an extra 10 bucks to have around in case something breaks, in case something cracks, or in case you want to try a brand new setup, then these expansion kits are exactly what you want to do every time you buy a lemon symbol. Thanks for watching. And again, please like and subscribe. Remembering if I get to a thousand subscribers, I'm getting that big old lemon kit and I'm going to give it a run through for all of us. And please comment if you've had any experience with lemon symbols or with one of these expansion kits, or if you have any questions, if there's anything I left out, or just let me know something you'd like me to review. Thanks for watching.